I do like watching YouTube, and one of my favourites is Classic Mini Workshop. Well, here we are on the sunny Isle of Wight, and hopefully, this is where my new project is. Okay. Well, it's on a spit, so whatever it needs, it needs a front end. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Apparently, it's had a brand new floor fitted to it. Yeah, new seals, brand new quarter panels, that's cool. Whoa! Gee whiz. What's that all about? Oh, okay, new rear panel as well. New boot floor. Nice. Genuine 1275 GT. What colour is this? This is pageant blue, isn't it? Page pageant blue. 1275 GT. Hang on, I recognise this place. I've seen this on YouTube. Then this is Bernie the 1275 GT. Right, Mark Draper here. And I'm restoring this rally mini. No messing around, mate. I can restore a car way quicker than anybody else, and I do it proper. For example, this car had a few little dents in it and a little bit of rust. So I replaced every panel apart from this A panel here. Yeah, proper job. Right, gonna put some paint on it now. Right, Ovs, I need to give it a good old hoover. Here we go, so Bernie's now upside down, ready to put balance on. Right, I've mocked up the rear balance and the closing plates. Oh, do you know what, it's so much, you can see why people like Owen Fabrication and all the racing guys, they don't mess around, do they? New panels every time. This is quite therapeutic. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm happy how it fits. Um, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of fettling, but we'll do that when we put it on for real. Now I've got to take it off and clean up the surfaces ready for spot welding or plug welding. Oh, and I've got to drill some plug weld holes. And there's one more thing I need to do. Right, I can't remember which episode it was, but there was one where uh, Keith was blown away by a very simple thing that Mark had come up with. And I don't know if you've had this trouble trying to get these stickers off. As you can see, I've really struggled with them in the past. I've used wire wheel, I've used all sorts of things. Um, flat disc. But he went, no, no, no. Use Keith's favorite product, brake cleaner. Let's give it a go. How long are you supposed to leave it? The problem is it evaporates quite quickly, doesn't it? That's it, can't wait any longer. It's not coming right off. Oh, maybe I'm just being impatient. Or maybe I'm not using enough. I think it's going to be an itchy barn moto moment. Right, I've just messaged Keith and he said, yeah, let it soak for a few minutes. I ain't got time for that. Well, I suppose I have. Let's give that one a good soak. Is that enough, Keith? More? More? How long is a few minutes? According to 
Marquette University Law School. So, if you tell someone you'll be there, in a few minutes, the two of you might understand that to mean, say, less than five minutes, but one of you might mean something slightly longer. Well, that's helpful to know, isn't it? A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, my giddy aunt. Oh, it's just a little bit. Fail. <laughs> there you go. What an amazing top tip. We need a bit of patience, which I don't have. Cheers, lads. Here we go. It's all been drilled out, ready for plug welds. Cleaned up all the surfaces so they'll weld nicely. Obviously, wherever I'm going to spot weld, that needs to be clean on both sides. And I've done exactly the same with the lip on the rear balance. What I've got to do now is prep and clean the actual panel itself. Because this needs to be clean, uh, free from paint on this side and this side, and uh, wherever I want to seam weld butt weld, whatever. And I better key that in as well, don't I? Have you ever noticed that I wear a full set of racing overalls when I'm welding? There's a reason for that. Keith Miller deliberately set me on fire using brake cleaner ones. Deliberately. Let me remember how it went. I'm remembering, I'm remembering, I'm remembering. in the hole. Yeah, that's exactly how it happened. Cheeky bugger. I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank our Patreons. Their support is so appreciated as it helps support the channel in so many different ways. If you'd like to be kept bang up to date with current projects and events, see additional behind the scenes footage, and effectively be a virtual member of the team, then maybe consider becoming a patron yourself. Pop over to our Patreon page and check it out. There's plenty to see, even without signing up. Again, thank you so much. Your support is hugely appreciated. Okay, so all the surfaces that need spot welding, I've cleaned down to bare metal. So that's bare metal, bare metal, bare metal, bare metal, bare metal, bare metal. Bare metal, bare metal. And these bits I almost forgot about, those bits there. Um, otherwise, the spot welder just won't, there'll be no condu conductivity. Yeah, so you won't be able to spot weld it. So, uh, I don't want to keep it bare, so I've got some zinc primer, uh, weld through primer, being shaken up while I've been cleaning this. I'm gonna just give it a quick wipe down, give it a coat of that primer, and then we can get spot welded. Woohoo! with it no I've uh, I tried everything I could to get the perfect paint job but I've got a couple of little runs and a couple of dry spots really annoyed I tried everything to keep the dust off it and it looked like I did it almost naked 
don't need to get any dust on it. Oh, right. There's only one option left, and that's take it all back down to bare metal and spray it again. Oh, schoolboy school error. Yes, I've cleaned these bits, but I haven't cleaned that bit, and I haven't cleaned that bit. Never mind. I literally just got some steps because I was thinking this is going to be really hard to try and spot weld down through there. It's on a spit cam. Just rotate it. Duh. Right, I'm done. <laughs> like a kipper. Uh, no, what I need to do is just give it a good old wipe over with some brake cleaner, no, uh, some panel prep, uh, just so it doesn't corrode. Um, and then the plan is to, to, now I've started at the back, I'm gonna start at the back and finish at the front. So I wanna roll it over and I need to find out exactly where to put the bracket for the fuel tank. It's a job that I've missed out on uh, and I'm needs doing so that's that's the plan anyway so if you don't want to miss that episode uh think about subscribing maybe smash the like button if you've enjoyed this episode ah oh, i have enjoyed making this i must admit there's some footage from a long time ago so you will spot lots of continuity errors oh, that's for sure um but if you haven't i'm sure you have seen classic mini workshop with keith and mark please go and check them out some of their projects are just astounding the work that they do the the quality is just um yeah it's just fantastic anyway go and check them out in the meantime i'm going to spray this so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time Tough enough.